Hi, this is Robert Friedman. I'm CEO of SundownNetworking.com LLC. And today it's my pleasure to be with Steve Cooper, who is the owner of Steve Cooper, I'm sorry, SM Cooper, photographic artist here in Bethany, Connecticut. I'm sitting in Steve's very impressive studio. You'd have to really be here to see all this equipment and all the artwork and photography that he's done over the years. And the first question that comes to mind when people call themselves uh, photographers or I do photography, and I happen to know that your academic background is um, pretty replete with uh, uh, degrees and accomplishments, which sets you apart, I would think, for a lot of people who may say they're a photographer, but you are a breed apart. Could you sort of tell our audience about that so they really understand what this really means? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, most people, even people that know me, don't realize is um, at 13 years old I was already shooting um, professional sports for magazines. Um, but um, after that um, I did get a teaching degree um, when I was in college in art and photography. Um, and then followed that up with a master's degree and a craftsman degree uh, from the international organization that I belong to. Which, uh, excuse me, which international organization? Uh, that's the Professional Photographers of America. Um, I belong to several others, but that's the, 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 big, that's the biggest one in the world. The other thing that I noticed, you're a seven-time photographer of the year in the state of Connecticut, aren't you? Yes, I am. Any other honors or awards? Um, well, besides the seven-time photographer of the year, I've gotten um, Best Portrait uh, Photographer of the Year. Um, I've gotten Best Portrait in New England, um, a variety of other. I've noticed uh, you, you give out samples of your work in, in, in the manner of uh, promoting it, and it was really impressive to see uh, some of the business cards you did <laughs> and some of the postcards with the baby. You, you do a lot of baby photos, I know, yeah. bridal. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you may have, or may not know it, Steve has photographed a lot of very famous people. Anything in particular, any stories you want to share about that? Because I'm sure there's many. Um, hmm, things that I can tell in public. Just in public, yeah. Um, I, I've actually had the opportunity to work with um, with some really fun celebrities. Um, I've been to Arnold Palmer's house for um, his 60th birthday to create a portrait that hangs in Myrtle Beach. And um, that was sort of fun. Um, however, the airline actually lost my luggage Not on good. the on the way to uh, on, on the way to Latrobe, Pennsylvania. So I showed up at Arnold's house uh, in a pair of jeans and an old t-shirt. Um, but, you know, it didn't bother him. Fortunately, I was smart enough to keep my equipment on the plane with me and, and my luggage was underneath. They actually delivered the luggage to his house like 10 minutes before I was ready to get in a taxi to get back to the airport to, to leave. Um, you know, another one would be um, I, I was at the Carrot Top, the comedian, I was at his house in Florida doing a photo session and, and that was just like, probably took two and a half hours to do what should have taken 20 minutes because we were just sort of trading one-liners. So that was sort of fun. I also noticed that you photograph uh, Senator Joseph Lieberman as well as Governor Jody Rell. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I mean, you, you do get around. I mean, I don't think people really, uh, you know, you, you talk about a special time for a family or a a life cycle of a, a birth, uh, a wedding, a bar mitzvah, uh, a baptism. I mean, how important is it to get it right? Well, in a lot of cases, um, it, it is the only time. Um, I've had um, the opportunity to work with um, some very special people, That um, one of which um, is one of the reasons why I've started a foundation um, recently. Um, to help children's charities, and that was a little girl that uh, was dying of leukemia, and I photographed her at her request, and that was um, it was special, and it still um, touches me um, how important it was to her and to her family, and she passed, you know, a week after that. Really, um, and and I've done a number of family portraits where um, I just recently, uh, this past uh, Christmas, got an email from one of my past clients whose husband had passed away. And I had done their family portrait, and she just wanted to let me know how important that was to her. You know, it's, it's leaving a legacy. It's protecting your family histories, um, as well as history in general in some cases. I know, I mean, you could go to the store and buy a Canon Rebel for $900, $800. And that really doesn't make you an ace photographer by any means. But the, at the end of the uh, conversation, I think what's important, 
Talk about the foundation so everybody understands what you're doing with the uh, foundation. I will, but um, a, sort of a humorous comment um, to follow up on what you were just saying about the Cam the, Rebel. About the Cam, Cam Rebel's actually a great camera. Oh, I know. And I happen to use Canon equipment, just the more professional versions of it. Um, but, you know, if, if I buy a scalpel, it doesn't make me a doctor. Correct. And so uh, there's a lot of people out there right now that uh, are touting themselves as professionals because they take a picture, they look at the back, it looks good, and they figure they can make a few bucks. And um, unfortunately, they're, like we were talking about, there are different circumstances um, in a family history where you want to make sure that you've hired the right person, um, money being, you know, semi-relevant, but you can't, if you have to do it over again, or, or you can't do it over again, the money becomes irrelevant at that point. Um, but uh, anyway, you were asking the about foundation. the foundation, yeah. yeah. The foundation is, um, is going to be very unique. Um, it's, I'm going to be capturing um, images of uh, some legendary personalities around the country. Uh, we're working on that list now, so I can't really talk about the list okay. at this point. Uh, but what we're going to be doing is creating portraits of them, and I'm going to do a limited edition fine art print, um, what's called a gicle print um, in black and white, um, gallery style. And then once I do this edition, everybody that I've done uh, or created images of, all the legends will then autograph it. So wow. um, when it's done, there'll be 12 autographs and a gallery style print that you can hang. And these will be donated to different um, auctions uh, locally and, in, and nationally uh, to help raise money for different uh, foundations and charities. Sounds like fantastic stuff. Uh, uh, when do you think this will really get going? I know it's a process, but... Well, we, we finally, um, it, it is a slow process, and, it, and it's going to take a while to really figure out all the logistics and, and um, some of the, the final pieces of the puzzle are, are being put together um, over the next couple of weeks, but we do have the name, the official name is the Charitable Hands Foundation, and um, we're going to sort of go from there and keep our fingers crossed and just keep working at it. Well, I'm sure that we're going to be seeing and hearing a lot more about you and uh, the Foundation, of course, seeing you at the Greater Haven Chamber, at the Opus Chamber, at all these various organizations. Uh, you are ubiquitous, so uh, <laughs> it's been great. Thank you very and, much. And uh, we'll see you soon. I appreciate it. Thank you.